I can't stand intros. Hey guys, I hope you're having a super fantastic day wherever you might be. In this video today, I'm just going to show you how I gave my large sod buster a half stop. And it's something that you might want to consider trying. And I'm definitely going to be doing this on more of my knives. A few videos ago, or a couple of videos ago, I showed you how to center your traditional folding knife. I'll put the link to that video down here at the end of this video. And I also showed you how to do some basic, basic, basic care and maintenance on some of these types of knives. And I'll put that link down in here as well. In this video, I'm going to show how to do a half stop. A lot of knives come with half stops and I like them. I really do. I think a half stop is just something I like. Now, is it something that I want on every single one of my uh, traditional pocket folding knives? No. I like to be able to pick and choose. And I found a method that's gonna work. Um, here's a couple of knives that I'd like to see them on, but I started with this one. I started with the uh, case sod buster. This is the large. And what I did was the blade tang, I took the um, Sharpie and I covered the blade tang with black uh, felt pen. And then I took a Dremel with a cutting wheel and I slowly but surely, little by little, gave it a flat spot. And it was trial and error, no different than the, the blade centering, little by little, tiny, tiny little increments at a time. I had the cutting wheel turning in such a direction that it was not pushing any debris between the lock and the blade. So I didn't want any corruption going down there. So it was spitting it out that direction. And it's trial and error. So I kept opening it a little bit at a time. And then at, at the very beginning, it would lock at this position. So that told me I needed to flatten it back in this other side a little bit until I got to where I wanted to be. I kept doing it over and over again until the blade sat at 90 degrees to the world, or pretty close to 90 degrees. See that? It's very similar. It's close, but it's really up to you on where you want it. And that's pretty much it. Now I've got a half stop on a sod buster. On a case sod buster. There might be other sod busters out there that have half stops. That's how I did it. And yeah, it works good. Little by little, be patient. Again, try not to remove too much material. And now that I've done this one, I'm quite confident I'll be able to do it on the other ones. On the ones that I choose, that is. Not all of them. I'm not going to do every one of them, but I'd like to see this Stockman. I really like this Stockman. Big fan of the Stockman pattern. And why not? Totally doable. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. You don't need me turning on the Dremel and doing all that stuff. This should be enough to get you motivated, I think, to try one on your own. A lot of disclaimers here. Uh, do this at your own risk. Uh, if you're not really comfortable with your handset and, your, and the way you work with your tools, maybe not a good idea. If you are gonna do this, maybe pick a really cheap knife. Uh, you don't need me to go on and on about disclaimers. I'll put the links to those two other videos down here. By the way, I'm glad you guys are digging the uh, Cold Steel Spetsnaz video. That was a lot of fun. The comments 
uh, about stirring my coffee, because uh, I always stir my coffee with my knives, with the shovel was a great one, and I'm sorry I missed that. Have a great, super fantastic day. Bye for now.